cell structure is normally we see the structure like this image so we recognize structures through this 2d image uh, well um, this is molecular structure but there is a file format or easier um, format for computer to recognize and, and analyze the structure so uh, I'll show you so when I say structure in QSA I'm not just talking about this structure but actually the file or the smiles that which is used to represent the structure so I'll show you the structure what I mean by um, this let's go to the PubChem this is a database um, where many researchers are using and there are a large number of structures in the database so you can see the number of data here the compounds substances in PubChem they uh, actually substance and compound can mean the same thing but in PubChem they use this term differently so compound so when they say substance um, there are actually many structures uploaded to this database so they call it all the uh, substances all the molecules uploaded to the database is called the substance but they can have they may have same structure so they define compound which is the least of uh, they, they are actually the same molecule but duplicated structures were removed in the compound so in substance they mention all the molecules uploaded to the database but um, compound means the molecules um, whose duplicates were removed so they define these two terms differently in this database so you may see the substance ID and also compound ID and you should remember that these two terms were specifically defined in this database so um, here you can search any compound and you can find the structure here we see the example of aspirin so we can check it um, here you can see the best match and also other compounds and substances so if you click to the name of the molecule you can have more details and if you scroll down you can have structure one format is called mol file or stf file so let me check this first here i'll just download in the desktop and uh, so uh, here files and if you use text editor then uh, you can see the contents of the file so what it has is here is the atom and these are the coordinates of each atom so this is x y and z coordinate so imagine these atoms are spread out on the 3d space so um, they are actually having this 3d axis and each atom on the space has three 3d coordinate and so these are up to here are the location of the atom on the 3d space and if you go a little bit down here from here this is a connection so it says atom number one and atom number five has single bond so these are the index of atom so this is number one atom number one this is atom number two three four five and so number one and five are connected with the single bond so that's the information so there's double bond or sometimes triple 
So this file has coordinates of each atom and the connection information. So this is about the connection. Connection. And this is, these are coordinates. Coordinates. So this is how the file, the molecular structure is saved in the file. So their geometry is saved in this file. So using this file, we can open and then input the structure to the software or the model. So when I say QSA, a structure in QSA, I'm specifically mentioning this file. So um, sometimes I ask people that, do you have structure? And they say yes. And they, what they have is image actually. So in that case, I need to find the SDF file or SMAS code of the structure to use that information in the model. And another famous format is called SMALS code, which there are many different formats, but this is actually um, de facto standard of uh, format to represent molecules. So it's called SMILES. And it's um, the series of text. So you can see the atoms and some other um, character in between the atom. So um, this is used to represent the molecular structure. Um, let's take a look at the SMILES code. So here, there's a SMILES code. I'll copy and paste it. So um, in this course, I'm going to use this text editor a lot. It's a sublime text, and this is really useful for code editing and also um, editing structure file. So please download this sublime text to follow the lecture um, in this course. So what I want to show is this. So it's starting C. So let's read this string from left to right. So first is C, C, carbon, carbon. So I think the molecule is starting from here, carbon and the carbon. But you see here, it has two different paths to follow. So in that case, when the branch comes out from the mainstream, these parentheses comes in. So this is a branch and it has a double bond, which is expressed by this sign. So um, we can just follow this string and then reconstruct the structure. So after this, there's a oxygen and then again carbon, but actually it's a ring. So when ring comes in the structure, they, num they um, put a number. So if there's more than one ring, then they will number it as one, two, and so forth. So here there's only one ring and this is the beginning of the ring according to the order of the uh, text. So um, it's put the number one after the carbon. And then there's a double bond. Uh, we know this is a benzene ring, but um, technically these, if we take a look at only this part, it's just double bond. So they put it in this way. So double bond, single bond. You may notice that single bond is not really uh, specifically Mm, expressed by other character. So if there's just a series of atoms, we can just assume that there's a single bond between them. So carbon, 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 and then one comes again, which is the which means this is the end of the ring. So they, they should be connected. So this atom was numbered one, and this one also was also one. And then from here, go up, there's a carbon, and then there's a two way, so they use parentheses to show it, and there's a two oxygen. So this is SMILES code. So it's simply, imagine if you put the number uh, on each atom. This is actually the order of the atom, the number zero, one, I use zero because in com in programming, first index is starting from zero, not one, in most of programming language. 
So um, imagine if you put the index to the atom, then the first one will be 0, and then 1, and then 2, and then 3. So it goes on in this way. So uh, it's, the mass code is just listing the structure according to the order of the index of molecule. So these two are frequently used in QSAR.